All right, lads and lasses, I'm Eccentric Racer, and I'm here with a, another part of the Forza Motorsport 4 King of the Mountain. Yes, now, excuse me, now I have already recorded this episode. I have used the Lancia Delta. Uh, it was an incredibly good car. Unfortunately, I let it down a little bit. Um, it, when it did its run, if I will get the leaderboard up for you now, it was placed in third with a 4 minutes 30.766. So it was just a little bit off that Subaru Impreza 22B. Uh, however, the reason why I am recording this now, the car's already built, it's already had its three runs, uh, the audio broke. Yeah, all, all the audio broke. So I am recording this again. I am not going to if i do improve the time i'm not going to put it on the leaderboard it's already had its three runs the final attempt was incredibly good i unfortunately locked the brakes into one of the corners and i do think that cost it second place uh, i really do think that this could have beaten that 22 b no problem um so yeah there is that but it's already had its three attempts i'm not allowed to do any more um Obviously, I know I had the Lancia O37, that's kind of had six months, but the Mark II was a rebuild and sort of using the actual rules that I've put in place. Um, you know, the first the first time it was just... Yeah, I've already explained it in that video, but basically, I just was not happy with that video. Uh, I should have done more testing on it, so that's why I ran that car again. Anyway, let's talk about this Lancia Delta. Um... You know, when it comes to power to weight, we've got 442 horsepower and two, and the car weighs 2,300 pounds. So it's got, it's not the most powerful four-wheel drive car. There are definitely more powerful cars up here, but it was also fairly light. I think it is one of the lightest cars. I don't think it was the lightest. I think the, uh, I think the RS200 was lighter, um, but 2,300 pounds is still very light. One of the main problems was the handling. It is very understeery. One of the problems being the tyre widths. Only two two fives at the front. At the back it's the same. These are very skinny tyres. Which was a lot of a problem. That caused a lot of understeer problems. Now of course, you know, as per the rules, I can't stick on this. Because that, that is what I would do to fix that problem. But as you can see there, the handling the handling stat is low, even for a four-wheel drive car. But, you know, it still was absolutely impressive because the acceleration was just sublime. If you go to the benchmark, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start showing these off now. Um, someone commented about it that I can show it. I completely forgot to, to be honest. Um, but here we are. So the ones I'm going to be paying attention to is the not is the acceleration, and the 0-60, 0-100, the braking... And then lateral Gs, I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to the 60, although the 121 is alarming. The fact that I would go at less than 1G uh, when 60 is 1.06. Obviously, this is the benchmark thing, so it's not going to be fully accurate. But the acceleration, you can see there, 0 to 60, 2.8 seconds, 0 to 100, an extra 3 seconds on top of that, 5.8. Breaking distance, slightly over 100 foot, 60 to 0. For uh, 100 miles an hour, we're looking at slightly over 270 foot. So, you know, the handling is obviously the concern. The acceleration is just absolutely brilliant. Uh, so, these are going to be unofficial runs. Uh, however, it is going to go up the mountain three more times just so I can show you how quick this car really could be. Right, well, let's send it up. Okay, so here we are at the base of the Jimmy Kaido, the new hill climb, going to give Valencia Delta... Three more runs to see what this car could really do. The um, the current leader was still that Evil 6 with the 429.2. Like I said, the Lancia Delta did a 4 minutes 30.766. Um, however, I will say that this car definitely had more time in it. The locking of the brakes definitely cost it a second place. Um, but of course, you know, I'm not going to officially count this time. So if I do go quicker, it will just show how quick this car could have been. But, enough about that, let's see where the Lancia Delta, let's see if I'm able to go a little bit quicker. I mean, to be honest, knowing my luck, I probably won't, but here we go. 
let's get this car up the mountain. The launch was absolutely incredible. Already hitting 60 miles an hour before we get to turn one. Um, oh god, yeah, here we go. So as you can see, we're going to have definitely some controllability issues. More, more obvious is that understeer. But as you can see, the acceleration, the lower speed stuff was just is just absolutely. It's just incredible, the acceleration and. God, we're going to get a huge amount of obviously through there. What we're going to do, 102 miles an hour. Oh, I've the brakes a little bit. Uh, 102 miles an hour off the little red crest there. That's seriously good stuff. That is just seriously, seriously impressive stuff. Okay, let's get you through these couple of corners. There we go. Nicely does it. All I've got to do really with the Delta is just be cautious with how much power I put on. Of course, I do have a base stiff. I'm not too... I think the power usually goes about 50-50. Um, I think sometimes, some cars, they put it a little bit further on the back. In, if you put a base stiff on a four-wheel drive car, I think sometimes it goes a little bit further towards the back. Not in all, not in all cases, though. Uh, sometimes it goes 50-50. I think the Delta was one of them. I mean, to be honest, it could be that, or it could just be... The fact that the tyres are really, really skinny, but and you know, of course, I've got base rear aero, so that's going to push the back in more, so that's going to lift the front up, and we're going to have more always. We're going to have more understeer. I mean, to be honest, I'm saying that probably a lot of you already bloody know how aerodynamics work. Um, so no, there is that. Right, okay, come on, see you through the four hairpins now. The gearbox is actually really nice for this as well. Uh, I'm not really having to. I'm not really having to fight about what gear I need to be in for what corner. You know, it's got fairly lengthy gears, but not incredibly lengthy. That um, you know, it was very slow accelerating. Oh, I did get that river chicane a little bit wrong there. 131 miles an hour, um, but I do think that there was definitely a little bit more speed in that. I just got that corner a little bit wrong. Okay, at the 50% hairpin now to get you through, and then we could just. Boot it, absolutely no problem whatsoever. We managed to make it through with no issues. Boy, okay, here we go. And we have managed to get through there. Ooh, that was a little bit of dodgy driving from me, not from the car understeering. Had a little bit of a wiggle uh, through there. I was just a little bit uncomfortable on the controller, but I am all sorted now. Let's get you through this crest. There we go. That's more like it. Into third gear. Uh, through this corner, oh, a fair amount of oversteer, however, managed to keep it out that wall. And it, it's just a really nice car to drive. Once you once you tackle that understeer correctly, it rewards you big time. That's the main thing. There's, there's so much rewarding speed in this Lancia Delta. I mean, I have a huge soft spot for the Delta. I do absolutely adore this car. It is one of my favourite rally cars of all time. It looks good, it sounds good, and, you know, it's a classic Lancia. What's not to love about all of that? Right, okay, come on now. Well, let's not... Uh, let's stop drooling over the car. Let's get it up the mountain uh, as quick as possible. Let's see what this car really should be should be capable of. Okay, let's get you through that quick... That quick um, section there that I've just went past is actually... That was, that's surprisingly more challenge than I was expecting, especially, like, you know, yeah, sure, it's fairly high speed and we've got a few crests, but that really does kick out a lot of cars. A lot of cars have uh, issues over that, which really does surprise me, to be honest, doing about 130 miles an hour. I think that's a, probably a little bit too early on the brakes through there, but not much of a concern to me. Oh, go, come on, let's get you through here. There we go. Uh, I don't think I've actually given the uh, Delta the full speed at the minute. I think I've been a little bit too cautious trying to remember how this car drove. Yeah, it's, this has not been a good run whatsoever. 4 minutes 30 was its best, and I have not driven this car to its full potential. Crash into the wall a little bit. What's that? 4... 33.5. Right, okay. Yes, that would put it in... I'd put it in 7th place at the minute. Right, okay. Let's improve that, considering, what, I found three seconds last time? Right, okay. Um, let's see if I'm able to improve on that. Come on now. We should, we should get more speed. 
I think I've just been a little bit too cautious uh, with the Delta. I think that's what it was. It was just, you know, just a little bit of caution settling in. Oh, well, that's gone horribly wrong altogether. God damn it. That is uh, not good in the slightest. Just going to be a little bit cautious through there. Okay, come on now. Let's get you through, let's get you through. A little bit better this time out, but of course I had that crash at turn one. It's not locking brakes this time. There we go, that's a lot better kissing that apex, so that should be a little bit more time back in. One to step out a little bit there. I think the uh, I think the car was just lacking overall grip there rather than the front end refusing to turn in. We just had a lack of overall grip. Okay, we'll go right and then tuck it into that corner. Nicely done there. That's a lot better this time out. Now that I'm starting to gain a little bit more confidence with the Lancia, uh, you know, we should be seeing that time drop down much better this time. Okay, got to get it through this corner. Come on, eat onto the power out of that corner. That acceleration should be carrying this car nicely through the course. There we go, that's more like it. Okay, and up to the four hairpins now. Let's get you through. It's left hander. This is where some of that time is going to be lost. Just as I'm trying to fight that car through that very quick left hander, it's just going to lack that front grip. However, get through the four hairpins, should be fine. But put it into second to get it through, to get it up to turn three. And then, of course, just got to do it one more time. Yeah, through this left hander. And there we go. Right, that's much better this time. Let's get this river chicane. Like I said, this river chicane is flat out. I just did not, well, do it properly last time. Let's get you through this right hander. That's more like it. Look at the speed. That is a vast improvement. 131 miles an hour. I think it's a little same speed this time, but I did take that corner quicker. Okay, leave it in third. Drop it in second for the 50% hairpin. Gonna can be dragged wide a little bit, just a lack of front end grip. Get a little bit of a slide out of that corner, but we are fine. It's going to be understeering through there. However, managing to get it through a little bit of an oversteer moment. Through there. Okay, but we've managed to get through it, no problem. Oh, come on. This double right hander here. Get back onto that power. There we go. A small bit of understeer, but nothing too bad managed to get through that left hander with no problems the car was not kicking out its arse end this much this time past the uh, waterfall car park we should be a lot better this time out yet that understeer not being as big of an effect now that I'm, ab I'm able to push that car a little bit further I'm pushing that car a little bit more um, and the car isn't really letting go all too much which is you know which is good to know. Okay, we'll go wide and then swing it onto the apex just like that. That's better this time out. I'm going to put it, put you into third. Try and get a little bit of stability into the car. Uh, okay, let's get you through here. We're going to get a huge drift actually out of that section. Yeah, that's what I mean. Just a lot of cars really do have big oversteer moments through that corner. Okay, now we are out of that hairpin, head up to the uh, long uphill straight. Should hopefully have much more speed this time out. Here is hoping. Okay, there we go, we're through there, alright, yep. I think I am taking a little bit better lines this time. Oh, the understeer sort of dragged it wide a little bit, I think it was on the power a little bit too early had to take a little bit of evasive action against the wall. I am now clipping walls on the inside, which is uh, not healthy for any car whatsoever. You should never clip a wall. However, this run is feeling a lot quicker this time. One more corner. Uh, just a little bit of an issue, just a lack of grip, but we are much quicker that time. A 4.31.3, which um, was, what, two and a half seconds quicker than last time so you are really starting to get you starting to sense the speed that is in the lancia delta it's just it's understeer it's the lack of grip that causes the issues with this car we've got one more run let's see can i get down to that four minutes 30 
I really do think I can. I really do think this was this could be quick is quicker. Sorry, than the uh, all 37 uh, than the 22B. That was a little. That's a little bit unfortunate. My uh, right stick actually stuck going right, which is a big problem. I did manage to catch it. However, that is definitely going to cost some time. I think I got the chicane a little bit wrong this time. I might, I might have to clean this 360 controller. Either that would replace it. Um, okay, yeah, we did lose a little bit of speed, 101 miles an hour, uh, but we did manage to get through that corner all right. Just got to really, I still just got to be careful with that power delivery. No. Come on, let's get you through this little section. Boot it now. That is more like it. Oh, God. Too, uh, oh, actually, that's not too bad, to be honest. That, I don't think that uh, was too terrible of a line. Obviously, it went on the power a little bit earlier. Carry, tried to carry as much corner speed as possible. I did get a little bit more speed out of it, but I do think it's possibly... I don't think it was the ideal line, so we got really close to the wall. We didn't hit the wall, uh, but we got very close to it, but I don't know. It mightn't be too bad. I'm, just, I'm trying to use all of the road that is available to this car. Oh, I've got that corner wrong, I reckon. Yeah, just a little bit too much understeer into that corner, I think. I think it was just a transfer between braking and accelerating that caused a huge problem there trying to get that car around that corner but we did manage to do it I think a little bit shoddily that's going to definitely cost some tents I reckon um, yeah around the four hairpins one last time huge oversteer moment we managed to keep it out of the wall though okay let's try and get you through there there we go let's get a little bit of an oversteer moment had to lift a smidge uh, yeah the understeer was just kicking in there quite a, a lot there we go take a much better line this time out i'm going to shift you down into second just accelerate out of that corner and we've got the 50 percent hairpin get you out of that corner more stable this time okay and then of course we've got a understeer moment through here as it so as the crest sort of levels out it can it does cause cause problems okay let's get you through here though we are dealing with it fine okay and we've got this right hander coming up i think i kind of got a little bit wrong there i will admit uh, i don't think i turned in enough kind of attacked it with a little bit too much speed and uh, did not get it on the correct line but break hard try and get it through this right hander head up to the um waterfall car park car park oh yeah where the what bloody hell am i saying where the hell am i from i don't actually know I'm saying that. Okay, come on. Got it. Worry less about me butchering up the language, more about getting the Lancia up the mountain. Come on, we've not got very long left. We are getting close to about three quarters of the way. I think this one is possibly, I think, a little bit slower. Um, I think there's definitely been a few mistakes earlier on. A few moments as well of the car just lacking that little bit of grip as well because yeah, that's, that's just the main thing that was just the thing killing this delta was just the understeer um if i did if i was able to get i don't know maybe two four fives overall i really do think this delta probably could have even gotten to the four minute 29s uh if i'm honest with you okay yeah i am breaking too early through there i will admit the brakes on the delta are actually very strong as well oh come on now be able to run wide avoid that wall much easier this time out i will admit that here avoiding clipping the walls on the inside don't think i don't think this is going to be a quicker run i think it's probably going to be a little bit slower but i don't know by how much I'm not too sure just one more corner to go Come on now, Delta. All the speed. I clipped the wall on the outside. That's going to cost some time, but there we are. 4 minutes 30.9. Um, a few mistakes there. Yeah, I almost got to the 4 minutes 30.7. However, you know, it, it is just an overall lack of grip. Um, so, yes, I do apologise. I can't give you that 4 minutes 30.7 run because it was a lot better. Just, uh, fortunately, sound broke. 
Um, and, well, the run was better. I did lock the brakes. So, unfortunately, the rules are the rules. You know, only allowed three attempts. And, uh, yeah, it, the car will have to be in the third place. And, you know, there was more time in it, absolutely. But I just couldn't quite extract it. However, I'm going to call it there for a video. I do hope you enjoyed. All feedback is appreciated. If you do want to suggest another car to go to Jimmy Kaido, please feel free to do so. Leave it in the comments. Um, or, and if you want as well, join my Discord. There will be a link in the description there if you want to join that. However, that's going to be it for me. Take care. And ciao for now.